What is up YouTube? I'm TD Miller and these are my first impressions of the Ultra Outroad 2. Ultra sent this pair to me for testing and review. However, the Ultra Outroad 1 I bought with my own money. And there are a couple of things I'd like to share with you already. As I said, these are my first impressions, not a full review. I'll get back to that in a few weeks. I only went for one run with them, so it would be unfair to say that this is a review, just the first impression. If you've been following me for longer, you'll know that I really enjoyed the original Outroad when it came out last year. It's not necessarily an amazing shoe. I just like how unique and different it was to other Ultras out there. That's why I liked them when they came out. And I must admit, I'm a bit surprised why Ultra already came out with a version two within a year. And taking a first look at them, there's really not that much different. I got them in a size 10 US, 44 EU. I usually go for a size 10 US, just like with the original version. I would have actually preferred to go half a size up, I think. For some reason, Alto has a hard time keeping sizing consistent especially with shoes with the so-called Alto Slim Fit. People tend to size up half a size, at least maybe even a full size. I didn't have that with the Rivera 3, but with the Outro 2, I still feel it's pretty short. Comparing it to the original, they're the same size. But if you were to compare it to other models from Ultra, they definitely feel smaller. You probably know that the Outro is kind of considered a hybrid running shoe. So looking at the upper, it looks like a regular running shoe. But if you look at the outsole, you'll see that they have some lugs. So they're definitely also good for trails and they are basically meant for people that that enjoy running in the trails but usually are stuck in the city like me. I live in the city and I have some trails, some local trails around here. Nothing too technical, there's some gravel roads, there's like a forest in the neighborhood and that's usually where I prefer running. So that's why the Outroad is actually a pretty good choice. I know some people prefer going for the Timp as a hybrid running shoe. I personally wouldn't go for the Timp. For me the Timp is really a classic trail running shoe and I really wouldn't want to run on the roads in the Timp. That's why I think the Outroad is pretty good. As you can see the lugs are not that aggressive. But Good enough when running on some easy maintained trails. The heel cup is very plush, very thick, and that's probably one reason why the shoe feels smaller than other models. Basically pushes your foot forward, so my feet really come quite close to the, to the edge. Also compared to the original, the tank is also really plush. With the original, you can see it's a fairly thin, it's hard to see with this color, but it's fairly thin, and some people didn't like the way this rubbed up against the front of their ankles. But with the outer too, you can see it's really plush and really thick. Also feeling the upper, you can feel they've kind of beefed up the upper, it feels thicker. Not sure what that means yet for breathability. I can imagine that that can get quite warm in the summer months. And you can see there's, there's like a plastic overlay that goes all the way around here. There's some comic-y looking drainage holes around here. And, but for some reason it stops here. There's like no overlay here. Not sure what they tried with that. I would guess that the overlay would kind of prevent water from getting in. But then you still have this side. The original outroad is so hard to see. That overlay kind of goes all the way around the shoe. But on the two, they've kind of, it, it just stops there. No idea why. But if not running through water, that doesn't really matter anyway. The laces feel a lot more rigid, so they won't come undone as easily. I like the laces on the original, not too rigid. They just feel like regular laces. With 27 millimeter stack height, I do consider it quite high cushioned. However, I do want to talk about the Ego midsole because I'm really confused. I remember when I received the original Outroad, how surprised I was about how soft the midsole was. It's really quite squishy and you can push it in quite you can push it in quite well. It's hard to see on camera, but I'm really not having any trouble pushing it in. And I always felt when I ran in them, I had a hard time running fast in them because I always felt that my feet were kind of sagging in them with every step that I took. Now that the outdoor two arrived, the midsole feels a lot harder. Like it's really hard to actually push it in. Definitely not as squishy as the original. However, I've been told by an auto sales rep that there is no difference in the outsole. So that really confuses me. I can't imagine that in a year's time that it loses that much stiffness and it becomes so soft, but I'm not an expert on the matter. I'm definitely gonna keep an eye on that because it feels like they've put a completely different midsole on it. But then again, I could be wrong about that. My first run in them, I felt that the energy return was good. So no complaints there. Because of the thick heel cup, I didn't have any trouble with heel slippage or anything. My foot fit in there quite nicely. It's quite a snug fit because of the plushness and the slim fit. So that is really something that you're either gonna like or not. Personally think the Outdoor is... I personally think that the Outdoor 2 is a nice fun shoe 
for people that don't want to have multiple shoes. These weigh in at 315 grams. They're kind of heavy, but if you don't mind that, and if you really just want a daily trainer where you can really run in the woods, on the street, they're a nice shoe, and they are also on the cheaper side. I obviously still quite some kilometers to put into them, but if you have any questions about these shoes or any other alters out there, how about you drop a note in the comment section down below. I'd also still like to test the Max Track outsole. I've yet to receive confirmation whether the Max Track outsole has also been improved to be better in wet conditions, but it's summer where I am right now, so I don't know when I get to test that anyway. So those are my first impressions. Let me know in the comments down below if you even care about hybrid running shoes. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time. Bye.